Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. There are two trends in the market now which are significant. One is a healthy trend and the other is an unhealthy trend. The healthy trend is what can be described as flight to quality. Accumulation is happening in high quality stocks. This can be seen in IT, pharma and FMCG particularly. In the IT, large caps like Infosys, TCS, HCL Tech and mid caps like Persistence systems, LNT tech services and COFOs are getting accumulated. Similarly, in pharma, talks like Divi's Lab, Sun Pharma, Syngene, etc. And in FMCG, stocks like uh, HUL, ITC, Dabur and United Spirits are getting accumulated. This uh, flight to quality is a a good trend. The unhealthy trend in the market is investors chasing low-grade momentum stocks. There is rampant speculation in the SME exchange. Low-grade stocks are getting listed and widespread manipulation is happening. This was explained in detail in last week's video. Investors should exercise caution in this segment. An important lesson from investment history is that wealth is created through patient investment in good quality stocks for the long term. Wealth is not created through irrational low-grade investment. Investors driven by greed to get rich quickly will end up losing money. Almost 80% of the 70 crore DMAT account holders in India now are new investors who came to the market during the last four years and they don't know this important lesson from the stock market history. Majority of these investors don't know, have, uh, they don't have any idea of uh, market fundamentals and also uh, the lessons from uh, stock market history. They have not seen a bear market. In the coming days, market movements will be influenced by economic developments in the US and the central bank uh, Fed's monetary policy. The Fed will start cutting interest rates this month itself. The question is whether it will be 25 basis points or 50 basis points. In India too, the monetary policy committee uh, is um, likely to start cutting interest rates. Two rate cuts of 25 basis points each are possible before 31st March 2025. This will be positive for stock markets in general and uh, rate sensitive segments in particular. Banking stocks which are attractively valued will gain. An important development in recent days has been the steady decline in crude prices. Brent crude has fallen below $70. This will benefit businesses which are uh, using crude related inputs. Segments like uh, paints, adhesives, tires and aviation will benefit from the crude crash.